so welcome to KO tutorials so here I'm coming up with a small tutorial on 3d modeling a designer wardrobe in 3ds max so let's get started so I'll just take a reference over here so we'll be modeling the quick wardrobe over here so very first of all let's take a plane over here let's take a box we'll just drag this up I'll just go over here slightly I can increase its length and width if required so convert to editable poly let's select this edges <coughs> before that I can put two loops over here again I'll go over here I'll put two more loops I'll again go into this I'll put one loop right over here in this way so I can just select this and slightly extrude it inside if required click ok again let's go over here select this let's put one connect right over here select the polygons and let's extrude it a bit inside how we can model such shapes over here is like it's very simple so I can just go over here I can just take a rectangle so I can just take a rectangular shape convert to editable spline and let's give a bit of fillet to it let's go into this and give a extrude modifier so I can just add a extrude modifier convert to poly and let's select this polygons slightly we can extrude it and make it uh, straighter again select this again extrude it from the other direction and let's make it straighter select this okay I'll first go into this I can just remove this loop over here slightly I can resize it I can slightly push this up if needed also I can just select this and make it straighter and I can slightly extrude it a bit down give a bit of extrusion slightly a bit inside and let's say end isolate I can slightly if needed we can just push this down <coughs> and we can slightly scale it over here in this way so I can just select this we can make multiple compartments over here for it so I can just go into this 
slightly just scale this select this or else I can just select this and this I can just bridge this so before we do this uh, I can go into this modeling and I can put one swift loop we can just add a swift loop over here so that would be much easier and let's bridge this again I can go over here I can put two connects over here again I can select this and this I can bridge this as required so although this is going to be uh, closed over here we can let's add connect over here select this and this we can just bridge this let's end isolate this and I can uh, go into this side view and let's select this slightly I can shuffle it a bit inside over here let's select the vertices we can just push this up we can just make a copy of it let's make one more copy so that copies can be managed I can slightly push it a bit inside or I can just push it a bit out if needed we can slightly shuffle it in this way so let's go over here again let's take a box I'll activate the auto grid part convert to editable poly and let's put one swift loop here so I can just slightly shuffle it a bit inside and drag it inside all right so I can just uh, show it a bit a bit out in this way so I'll go over here I'll just mirror it in this direction in this way so that is uh, possible over here that can be done so this uh, netting stuff can be done with the help of uh, texturing if needed over here as well if you want to put something that can also be put over here that is totally possible over here so I'll go into this I'll just assign one a material over here so I'll just go over here I'll just add a specular level and create such kind of a wardrobe over here if needed I can 
slightly go into this I can slightly extrude it a bit out if required we can do it in this way so this is going to give a good kind of a framing stuff all right so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel if you're not subscribed yet you can just create a wall if needed over here. That's it. All right. So thanks for watching this tutorial.